OKC was one of the real surprises all season long, but did not play well in that first game. And little Gallinari, who was their leading scorer in that first game, misses his first shot. Eric Gordon gets to the rim and finishes. He was terrific, and that's so important without Russell Westbrook on the floor for the Rockets. Steven Adams, can he make them pay? Seen, and their ball movement in game one was just not good enough. Meanwhile, the ball movement is exactly what James Harden credited with that time. Posting up, you know, a bunch of guys. They have three guys that are big time post up defenders in Tucker, James Harden, and also Eric Gordon. They do a great job of battling. Well, Steve, and he gets his second field goal. Adams had a solid game one. I still think they need to think about when the ball goes into the post, getting some cutting action to try to break down vision and also try to get other guys layups. You just see how they're all spaced out beyond the three-point mark, although Tucker now inside the arc. And another three. Shea Gilgis Alexander had that off game in game one. Only the second time this season he has failed to score in double figures. He was their leading scorer during the regular season. Is that a marvelous second year in the league? Well defended by Tucker. And Paul draws the foul. With Dort with his first shot. That won't go. And they're just glad to have Dort back. Adams kicks it back out. Kildas Alexander fires away. That's a three. James Harden hits a three. Yes. Normally, that's an offensive foul. I don't care. I don't like the call. <laughs> it's hurting our game. Gallinari, a huge height advantage, although Gordon is strong down low. <laughs> then Mark Davis pregame. OKC up by one. Gallinari on Harden. Gordon, nice little fake, drives inside, stripped by Chris Paul and stolen. Paul racing up the floor, moves back up top. Gallinari with the 29 points, got to the free throw line quite a bit in game one. Gildas Alexander, a little fake, well defended by Gordon. Pullback jumper's good. It's a going offensively. I tell you, Coach, you, you touched on it. This is the best defense that I've seen the Rockets play in a long, long time. They are working hard to keep the ball in front of them. They're making multiple efforts. Nice defense there. Robert Covington, one of the midseason acquisitions. Gordon kicks it out. Tucker back up top. Adams isolated on Harden, who blows by him. Kicks it out. Wide open Tucker. That's good. Matchup made the right play, finding a wide open P.J. Tucker in the corner. Gallinari calling for it again. Gallinari goes about 6'10". And his jumper is Gordon. Gordon is listed as 6'3". But so if it, they keep him to those mid-range jump shots, though, Mike, it's a, it's a win. Covington hits like a different Rockets with three pointers. They're four of six and take a one-point lead. But what Coach is talking about, this isn't a post-up. This is an ISO. And a foul already with four assists. Dort will miss that first game with a sprained knee. Does not hit that three-pointer. Harden, step back. Go with the rebound. Ball looking to push. That's one of the things that a couple of the Thunder players are saying, that they just didn't push the ball the way they normally do. Man. About the playoff experience, but obviously his main focus right now is keeping his team in this playoff experience. Mike? Thank you, Cassidy. Jim Donovan Mitchell had a battle as Chris Paul knocks down the shot. You know, they get back to the hotel and they see each other by the pool. That's a different you know experience than we're used to as basketball players but something that obviously we have to adjust to and Chris Paul has got to get a lot of credit for his leadership the air ball goes right into the hands of house and it's a three-point Rockets lead when it was with the Lakers and his luggage you know he had been put outside for the luggage drop I so was tempted to steal his <laughs> luggage. Harden <laughs> just one for four, but he has again the four assists. As we're tied at 18 with five and a half remaining here in the first. Gildas Alexander aggressively goes to the basket. 
Harden throws it ahead. McLemore. And McLemore misses. Rebound. Gallinari. Paul whips a pass. Gilders Alexander one on one with Tucker. Drives. A couple of fakes. And Schroeder has entered the game with Nerlens Noel for OKC. Hard little shake and bake. Nice feet inside. Shot blocked from behind. Once again, it's Dort. Rivers sidestep inside of P.J. Tucker. Goes up strong. Can't get it. Second tip is does his job. Gets back into the pitcher and blocks his shot attempt of P.J. Tucker. That ball nearly is it back. Dort has it stripped. And here comes McLemore. Good pace to this one. McLemore to Tucker. Right back. McLemore. Open three. That's good. Did well at 14 points in 24 minutes. This is his seventh year in the league. Finally got a chance to play in the playoffs. Gallinari drills. Does it as well. The guy sitting to my left, Mark Jackson, does it as well. They instill players with great levels of confidence. So wherever McLemore was before, here he feels ready to play and they accept his limitations and they been Tony that have had career years offensively it just love playing in his system spacing and there's a foul call on Austin Rivers am it I right you're right it happens to the best of them we did it happen to you ever no I, I was delusional <laughs> <laughs> no but most good plays are players are but what what you talked about I was in coach and Rick Pitino had instilled confidence in me and allowed me to make mistakes and play through my mistakes that is a valuable lesson and opportunity where you can propel somebody into goodness or greatness here's Rivers Rivers who had his career game in the seating round had a 41 point game this is that one Fight for the rebound. Noel. Outlet to Schroeder. Schroeder struggled in game one. And hits that. Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams. Harden drives on Schroeder. The strength of Harden. Count it. James Harden, his last three years, has averaged 30, 36, and this year 34. As Schroeder misses that. And we just kind of take it for granted he's going to put up 37 like he did in game one. And Mike, that's what double digit assist also. He is dominating on the offensive end like we haven't seen. Comes up short that time. Noel. Jeff Green is guarding Chris Paul. So Paul shoots. Noel tips it. Covington comes down with it. Austin Rivers. Nerlens Noel playing off him. Now drives past, goes up, kicks it out. Nice open look the corner, and once again. Austin Rivers, you have a mismatch. Take advantage of it. Made the right play. Six first quarter three-pointers. Baisley over to Schroeder. Inside pass, and Noel. As they come up on a minute remaining. OKC shooting 50% from the field here in the opening period. Harden chased by Paul. Rivers wide open three-pointer. That's good. Harden, he comes off. The dribble handoff starts to turn the corner. The help is there. Makes the simple pass to Rivers for the easy three. Chris Paul floats it inside. Good defense inside. Paul again on the follow and banks that one off for his second field goal. I really like the intensity of both teams, the way that they're battling and competing. Rivers, Covington. Covington struggle in game one, but period. Shot clock winding down. It's a about a half second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Schroeder does not get it off in time. One